Well, good morning. Welcome to day six of our day uh, prayer and fasting initiative. I'm standing out here with my Green Bay hat on. I hope they do win uh, Sunday. But anyway, our focus is on First Timothy chapter two, verses one through four, on praying for leaders. Paul says, "I urge then, first of all, that requests, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for everyone." For kings and all those in authority. So that is his, his prayer request, that we pray for everyone with thanksgiving and those especially in authority. Now I'm standing out here in front of Wake Forest City Hall. We need to be praying for the leadership of Wake Forest. I live in Wake Forest. If you live in Raleigh, you need to be praying for the leadership of Raleigh. Or if you live in Youngsville or Wendell or wherever you live, pray for those who are in that local uh, area to pray for them. We need to pray for our governor. We need to pray for that's a governor of uh, our cunt, of our state. And we need to be praying for those in the United States, our president and the cabinet and congressmen. Do you have a plan to pray for them? Let's pray for these people today. And we need to pray, be praying for uh, the leadership of our church, Wellspring Church. They need to, special prayer. So today, let's focus on prayer, whether we like the people or not. When Paul wrote this, Nero was the emperor of Rome, and he was a mean guy. In fact, he burned down Rome to build a palace, and he blamed it on the Christians and burned them at the stake. That's what authorities say. And he said, pray for those in authority. So let's pray for those in authority today. Uh, you can pray specifically, generally, spend some time doing that. God will honor. And why do we do that? Because Paul says that this is good and it pleases God, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness, and God wants people to be saved. In fact, John MacArthur in his commentary said that this is an evangelistic prayer because God wants people to be saved, and our prayers can help create the, the environment, you might say, for a peaceful and quiet way so we can share our faith in Jesus Christ with confidence. God bless you.